Hi there, this is Thomas, one of the academic advisors in the BCOE Advising Office, otherwise known as the Student Academic Affairs Office in the Borns College of Engineering. This video is to help you do some course planning specific to picking a breath course. One of the things I wanna start with is to show you how to locate and find information relating to picking a breath course. First place I'm going to start is using the suggested course plan. Using the Student Affairs webpage, the internet address, the web address is student.engr.ucr.edu. You can see that in the top left there. And then we're going to go to requirements and click on majors. And you can scroll down and depending on what catalog year you are using, basically the year that you started, you can pick something from the past or if you're new to UCR in the College of Engineering, you can use the current one. So I'm gonna use computer engineering as an example. We're using the 2020 version. And the course plan is organized in two ways. It is organized by when classes are offered. So you can see classes listed in a term, and then you can see there's a sequence. So 10A, 10B, 10C in that first year, we have built in the prerequisite sequencing for you. But when it comes to picking a breath course, and you can see a breath course for computer engineering is listed in the fall of the third year, where there's a breath course here for humanities, social sciences, or breath for biology. So when it comes to planning for a breath course, you want to be able to use a couple of different tools. We have the approved list of breath courses on our website here for you but this is one of two ways that you can locate this. The other fashion is using your degree audit in our web. What we're looking at here is an example of a student with some breath requirements that are still missing. So if you can see in the section where it says breath for Borns College of Engineering, you have English composition, humanities, social sciences, ethnicity, natural sciences, and then depth. The natural sciences are typically completed within the major lower division areas. Um, but if you have something unique, you can check with your advisor. But I'm going to use an example from the humanities, humanities B, fine arts, literature, philosophy, and religious studies. It says still needed. Click here to see the classes which meet this requirement. By clicking on this, it actually brings you to our webpage under breath requirements. And then you have the link to bring up the actual form that gives you the complete list of courses that are approved for BCOE students to select from. There are 11 pages and this first page kind of mirrors the course plan. And I'll show you that in a second, how you have the humanities, social sciences, English composition, ethnicity, upper division, which is your depth. We have these requirements that you see in your degree audit and then also listed on the course plan. I'll show you that one more time before we're done. The natural sciences are listed there, again, unique to the major that you're in. And then you have all of the listed courses that are approved to select from. Between humanities, scrolling down to social sciences, scrolling down to ethnicity, natural sciences, and then there are some depth courses that you can pick as well. Depth courses at UCR are courses numbered 100 and above. It's considered an upper division course. The section that we were looking at is the humanities B. So that was this section here where we were looking at fine arts, literature, philosophy, or religious studies. You have a one course requirement where you can pick anything from this section as long as you meet the prerequisite. Some of these courses are lower division classes, which is something numbered zero to 99. Other courses are upper division courses, which is numbered 100 to 199. And that is an upper division course. And that falls under this same category, but could also meet a depth requirement. So it could be kind of a two in one. If you have more questions about that, double check with your academic advisor. Um, you can see some prerequisites require something specific or that you're just an upper division student. So you can see some of the examples here where my mouse is on the right side. So getting away from this and going back to your course plan real quick. Under majors at the student affairs webpage, looking at your course plan, just to confirm, you can see on the right side where it lists English composition, breath requirements, you have humanities, social sciences, natural science, ethnicity, 
and then the upper division, the depth courses. So those are also listed for you there. One thing that you'll want to do is when you are looking for a course, and I'm going to the online schedule of classes. So this example is for fall 2020. This is one of the tools that you have available to you to find a specific course that is unique to an area that you're trying to fulfill. You can see where it says enter your search criteria up here on the left, and then you have all these boxes that you can do. I'm going to click on general education requirements. This is the same thing as breath, and it's going to give us a drop-down menu. Drop-down menu is unique to breath requirements based upon the program that you're in and the section or area that you're trying to fulfill. So I'm going to scroll down to EN for engineering, See here where it says Ian, you have depth, English, ethnicity, and then you have the humanities sections, natural science, and then the social science areas. These are, it's alphabetical, so you just have to keep that in mind. It doesn't follow the same sequence that we have in other areas, it's just alphabetical. So we were looking at specifically the humanities B, breath area, fine arts, literature, philosophy, religious studies. This is the section we're looking for. I'm going to click on this. And then typically I would also click on open sections only. So it may only show me courses that have open seats available. I am not going to click on that at this moment. I just wanna show you what pops up when you're looking for a course. I'm going to hit search, click on search. And the search results come up. There are a total of 227 classes. Please keep in mind that this includes lectures, as well as discussion. So you can see where it says lecture and a discussion. Excuse me, we have to plan for all parts of any given class. So keep in mind when you're enrolling in classes, you plan for all parts and you enroll in them at the same time. So you have, for example, a course here, Anthro 6, that is being offered in the fall that has a lecture and then a discussion. And there's multiple discussions for this class. You can see the days and the times, the instructor. Right now, this course is full. But if you had selected open sections only, you might find where, for example, there are 10 seats available in that particular section. There's some waitlist seats, but that's, you get the general idea. This helps you locate a course specific to the unique area that you're trying to find an open course for. So we went through your course plan, talked about looking for a breath course. We looked at your degree audit where we found a section and we clicked on the link and it brought up the breath worksheet that we were looking at for a specific section under humanities B, fine arts, literature, philosophy, or religious studies. And then we also use the online schedule of classes to look for a very specific course. I wanted to let you know that's how you find a specific breath course when you are searching for a course to plan for. Thank you so much.